Welcome to the Fix This Bill That Sunday Night Live show. I'm Brad. And I'm Susan. And I'm tired. Yes. And she's full. I'm full. We're both tired and full. Well, I'm more tired. Just did a ton of work out in the backyard today. And it's for the, the next video coming up we've been talking about. Uh, actually, that's not true. That's not true. We have a video in the works uh, mm -hmm. that is going to be the shop tour. So we'll go ahead and, and announce that. This week we shot the shop tour. Uh, we have to send that off or have to get that edited. So uh, our boy Chris is going to be working on that edit starting tomorrow. So we're excited about that. That'll yep. be the, the next video will actually be the shop tour. And then the one after that, the, the video after that will be the the deck yes. from fencing, right. old fencing. Old fencing. And it was a, it was a journey. I basically <laughs> have a whole bunch of fencing that I got from a neighbor that took down a wooden fence and I'm converting that into uh, something for our deck. So right. you're gonna have to, I mean, I'm gonna give away too much. But I know, yeah. keep it under your hat. Keep, keep it under wraps. You know? And I felt like you should have let them know that we um, shot the shop tour twice. Right? We did. Two times. Two times. Yeah. You'll have to watch to find out why. Right. Uh, <laughs> a little teaser there. <laughs> a little Two teaser times. there. And we just got back from five guys. Uh, I oh like gosh. I worked so hard out in, out in the yard today that I was like, I need something super good I know. Good he was today. like, what are we having for dinner? I'm like, grilled chicken. And then we could smell somebody was grilling burgers. And Brad was just like. <laughs> I was like, oh, come on. So we on. went to five guys. Go. And then we went to five guys and it was fantastic. Now we're really full. It was good. We were super full. Um, yes. or I am super full. Yep. So, uh, <laughs> so yes, that's what's going on. But before we jump any further, I do want to welcome some new members to the Builders right. Club. Uh, we had Mike Ladner, Will Hooper, aka Big Willie, yeah. uh, Xavier Gutierrez, Daniel Vasallo, Claude Bellinger, and Mark Michaud. So thank you so much mm -hmm. to those folks who have joined. Uh, if you're not familiar with the Builders Club, it's basically the inner circle of the Fix This Build That audience, and they get access to early content, behind the scenes, and free plans, credits, and videos, all kinds of cool stuff. If you want to find out more information, fixthisbuildthat.com forward slash Builders Club. So thank you to those guys for uh, joining up. Boom. All right, let's see what we have here. Let's see what we have. I know we, have, we had a few. I think we had Travis and Larry and Katie. Uh, and Willie, who had joined a little early. What's up, guys? What is up? And who else do we have here today? Tyrone, what's up, my man? Tyrone hey, Pelfrey. Tyrone. We got Brian Farnth in the house. Love it, love it, love it. Uh, we did not, uh, we did not get on. What is getting blamed on Susan? I what? said, sure, blame it on Susan. We know Oh, I, I said. <laughs> well, I don't know what was going on. Went before, they were, they were all chatting, and I said, let's get this party started. And I said, after Susan gets here. Yes. <laughs> I was putting the kids to bed, so yes. it was a good excuse. Yes, yes, uh, yeah. Mm. Oh, and apparently, happy birthday to Katie. It is oh, Katie's birthday, happy and she birthday. says uh, next weekend. Oh, it's her birthday next weekend. Oh, well, she happy early birthday. But she won't be here next weekend. So gotcha. happy early birthday, happy Katie. Happy birthday. Hope you, uh, hope that you enjoy it. That is an acceptable because, reason to not yeah, be absolutely. here. You know, we, we'll we don't allow expect it. expect attendance on your birthday. <laughs> So, um, yes. Although we have attended on birthdays, I think. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's true. We, that's we've, different. On everything. Yeah. On everything. Oh, yeah. Have yeah. we done a, I mean, I'm sure it's been, we've had a lot. Well, I don't know. I guess, mm -hmm. I guess uh, it would be like, I'd have to look at that. Like, when was the last time that my birthday fell on a Sunday? I was going to say, I'm waiting for the question. It was I like, know, I just like to, I like I to, yeah, yes. but when was the last time my birthday fell on a Sunday? I don't know. I don't think I've. Since you've been doing this. Yeah. yeah, I think the only times I can remember us not doing the live have been when we're on vacation. Oh, and no, we don't still have... done it, though. Sometimes we haven't. But I've, no, I've been like, yo, I'm not I mean, on. like, I've done yeah. it every, every Sunday. I've, I've done some form of something. You have communicated in every some Sunday. form. Yeah. Yeah. But we haven't had a full live. Hey, shh. Okay. Stop. Don't. don't. <laughs> like, rain on my parade. Take All right. Hit, Susan. <laughs> Sorry. All right. We got Isaac Truss, Brad Hamilton, Kevin Gallimore. What's up, guys? What's up? And Wallam Lake in the house. All right, man. People, All right. people getting, people getting in here. Uh, so this coming week, uh, we just talked about you know what's going on this week or what we did, which was the um, Susan always. You know, we, I'm sorry, these PM, know. these PM. Late night lives. Well, I was up late last night. I know you were. I I'm, know. So were you. Not, I almost do. But uh, yeah, they may make her tired. So <laughs> <laughs> but, I've run out of steam. But uh, like yeah, I, I'm really excited mm -hmm. because tomorrow I'm going to be working on the um, doing the actual work on the the deck project, mm -hmm. the secret deck project, and 
I hope it I hope it goes well because we're kind <laughs> of using too. we're using recycled upcycled like lumber the scared and you voice. never know like you never know like how that's going to turn out i mean it could go yeah it better turn out because it better because i put a lot goodness. of time and effort into it today my back is already hurting i bet all right so but before uh we just jump into just fooling around and having fun <laughs> beer of the week beer, beer, beer of, of the week, week. Ooh, ooh, beer, beer of, of the week. week it's like a low-key it's it's a beer somber of beer of the week. Ja, 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 Not beer. somber, muted. No, but muted. I mean, I don't think it actually matches the beer though. No, look at this thing. I know. What is it, this? This is Rogue Bat Squatch. I mean, and this is courtesy of Big Willie's Garage Bat from uh, uh, the super chat last week. So thank you so same, much, Will. It's a hazy. It's a hey. You know, you want some now. I mean, I just had a beer? burger. So well, what is the big difference so, of having thrown? I don't know. I literally just bought this. I. I, I uh, it's from Rogue Ales, and it is Bat Squatch Hazy IPA out of Newport, Oregon, which I do not think Will is from Oregon. It just looked like the best. Cool. It was the best looking can on the island, what so is I grabbed it. the star they have on this side? Oh, oh like, that's uh, cool. That is cool. So we'll they've got like a little uh, indicator, a little of, like, star the that of... it's like the five points of a hazy, I guess. So tropical, oh citrus, pine, bitter, and malt. Oh, and this is tropical? high on the tropical and citrus. Dude, I'm in. A little I'm bit in. of pine. Yeah. You got so you picked this out. I like what they say to pair it with. Did you pick this out? Yes. Yeah. Pair it with so good. White cheddar. White. Ch I do like white cheddar. Grilled salmon. Okay, I love that. You don't like salmon. And strawberry shortcake. Huh. I like all three of those. I think things. they're just that would be fun. delicious. Yeah. When right, is the last time you've had some really good strawberry shortcake? You know, like Ooh. biscuit or shortbread. I'm not really sure which mm. one would be better. And. um yeah, yeah, that sounds solid. so good. Check it out. We're getting oh, the Bat Squatch. I'm giving it a thumbs up. The Bat Squatch. All right. And this is dedicated you, to Will. the legend. <laughs> dedicated to the legend. Oh, yum. It's Will. good. Big, big it, it is, is the, kind of is fruity. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. What do we have? Let's it's see cool here. Can. Travis has a question. And uh, Travis says, um, you thank go. you, thank you, thank you. You're welcome. How well does a saw stop keep their value? Found a 36 inch contractor on the marketplace. It's three years old. The retail is $18.99 and the guy still wants $17.50. Dang. Uh, He's reaching for the stars. Yeah, yeah, yeah. $18.09 and he wants what? It was, and he wants $17.50. So here's the $18.99. Um, okay. They do hold their value very well. Not that well. I'll tell you what does hold their value that well is Festival. That stuff is insane. First of all, they like they're the only tool company that i know of that they have regular price increases like every year they send out their thing like hey price increase coming and they increase their prices every year which you should for inflation to keep up with inflation all that hmm. good stuff even though inflation is low right now but every year they raise their prices and you know it's coming and you see it and so it's like this stuff just costs so much now um and theirs holds value not only because of that, but because the value keeps going up, the, the, the new cost. But, but also saw, because they make a really great product. Yeah, yeah. They, they make a good product. No, but is not, it not really great? No, it's really great. Hey, oh, okay. Don't knock this off today. Okay? I'm not knocking anything off. I'm we'll, knocking we'll it see. in. We'll see. We'll <laughs> see. Uh, so, no, that definitely seems high, uh, Travis. That seems way high. Like, what I, so what I tend to, uh, when I'm shopping for tools, and again, I know you're saying this is specific because you're looking at saw stop, which is a higher end tool, but... Mm -hmm. When I'm looking for tools on Craigslist, I always aim for 50% of retail value. Whoa. Now, that, that is being definitely said, not that. That being said, there's a few things going on. One, I don't know uh, SawStop's um, inventory right now, but I know a ton of tool manufacturers are on back order for a lot of their saws. So if that if those saws are on back order, then he's kind of got that right. He's got the supply thing going for him. That's what I was wondering because of the whole, like so many people yeah. getting into woodworking. Oh yeah. And I, like, like I, yeah. when I sold my joiner, I sold it for more than uh, I would have a few months ago because you couldn't buy one. Like I sold it a couple months ago and I was, I mean, I didn't like go way up, but I was like, oh, like I felt way more comfortable being like, oh, okay. I don't even remember what I sold it for, <laughs> but, uh, but I remember looking at it and being like, I think I could get like 50 bucks more than that, like for sure. And I, lo I looked around and it's still like it was, I think I sold it at maybe 70% of value, uh, six, 70 or 60%, I think, probably 70. So uh, 
that's the, uh, like if I'm trying to sell, um, you know, so that's what I'm looking for a deal, 50%. I think 70% value for a used tool tends to be pretty accurate um, when your you know, tools aren't hard to find and hard to come by. So it all depends upon your market. Honestly, Travis is mm -hmm. the big answer is like, do you think you could get one that comes up for cheaper than that? Um, and then are you, you know, you're saving sales tax, right? So eighteen ninety nine becomes whatever based upon your sales tax that here. It's like 10%. Yeah, it's so that'd really be high. another almost $200 for us. So that'd be a $2,100 saw that you could get for seventeen fifty. Um, and how, so, much, how badly do you want it and or need it? You right. know, like what is your sense of urgency? If you are kind of like, eh, I want one eventually, but I can. Stop, man. You gotta get it. If you are more in the, in the boat of, I know I want one, but I'm fine without it right now, and I can just wait for the craziness to settle down, then yeah. yeah I waited but if you for really about want to get it now, years. then you're gonna want to get yeah. it now. I, I, w I had a Craigslist search up for like two and a half years. This is not surprising though. Like until I finally got my saw, and I got my saw stuff for like rock bottom. So I, it was the five horsepower model, but it was jacked up too, though. You fixed it up for the I lady did. first. That's true. We've told this story many That's true. times. But yeah, yeah, so I bought the five horsepower industrial for 1600 But see, like the lady didn't know Sorry. what to price it for, right? No, she had it listed. She had it what listed for 2000 it but it needed like four or $500 worth of parts to get it back into working order. And I told right. her, I was like, hey, listen, I'm not trying to rip you off. Like, this is what it needs. And I didn't want to buy it because at first I was like, this didn't need too much work. And then after I told her, I was like, here's what it needs. Like, I, I let her know, like, you need mm -hmm. this, you need that. And she's like, she's like, ah, I just, she's like, thank you so much. She's like, I really just want to sell it to you. What if I just take off that price? And I was like, well, cause you would also, okay. when you went out to see it, it was really dirty and stuff and you cleaned yeah. it. You spent a long time like I did. cleaning it up, kind of getting under the hood and taking a look to be able to tell her all that. And, um, I did. I you know, her husband, out, you know, her husband had passed away. Passed away so, so I'm I, sure it was kind of home. like, yeah. So overwhelming was, yeah. so anyway it all worked out very well but yeah that's, and both parties felt good about it we did and then yeah. i made her a cutting board i'm getting a beer do it i'll be back all right tundra just finished building a cajon today Ooh. What, a what? i don't know why i built it I have no musical talent that's awesome like a, a cajon like one of those oh. not like cajones <laughs> <laughs> todd longer beam what's up first time watching welcome welcome todd uh hope it's not the last hope hope you have fun. Ask some questions. Let us know if you have any questions. James McIntyre, what is up, my man? I uh, broke my arm and got an electrical burn on my hand. Dude, Isaac, be safe out there, man. I, the COVID ain't going to get you. You're going to lose an arm. Same arm. <laughs> James, wait, no, uh, what James was asking, same arm. Elliot, son of my R, what's up, dude? been a minute since we've seen you on here then welcome back welcome back uh and speaking of welcome back here's susan let's see so you're telling me i need to buy as much festival as i can this year that is exactly what i'm telling you will and and uh you tell your wife that i said so so it's an investment it's a uh, right. I, we've been um i'm just getting my little notepad here uh, all right it's back. an investment <laughs> against inflation. I was listening I mean, to a podcast today about inflation and, and all this stuff. And yeah, and it's kind of crazy. But anyway, with, with all this, I think we had talked about this before, but just like with the materials and for housing and everything going up so high and housing in general going up so high and, and all this stuff going on, uh, like silicone chips are like in super short supply. Like everything is like getting getting way higher but it's not quite inflation yet oh. because it's like a because it's a, like a point in time for it? right it's okay. like a supply and demand thing versus like inflation necessarily at this point but so, i think what we're trying to figure out is like is that stuff going to come back down right. and it will come back down but not all the way so there's gonna be some inflation built in so you could just say like i'm buying these festivals because so like the i need to guard my rates against inflation are not going to come down all the way no i, don't I mean so. like Wow. I don't think so. But, we'll but see. like who would have thought before COVID that there would be an incident? I'm sure there were like, you know, virologists that probably thought this, but virologists. Yeah. Is that what they're called? Yeah. I think so. Epidemiologists or something? I don't know. I'm just making up words now. I'm pretty sure mm. they're virologists. Wow, that's way colder than mine. I know. That's right. Anyway, no, but like I'm sure there were some people that were like, This could be a thing, but it has impacted 
every everything. part of everything. I'm so sick. I'm, t I'm sick of tired of <laughs> talking about it. We're sick it. of thinking about it. Daniel Pelks, uh, what is up, dude? Uh, how do I decide when to get rid of a tool? Ooh. Hmm. Now this is a great question that ties into the shop tour. Does it bring you joy? I have Does a small shop <laughs> and, I, and it's slowly upgrading my tools to mid-grade stuff, but I think I need to purge some of my entry-level stuff. Now hmm. that's, so th that's a great situation to consider an upgrade is that what I always tell, depending upon how, what you're looking for, right? If you're looking to build for money, so if you're doing this for a business, even a side hustle, um, you can really, you can really decide your upgrades by what is it going to do for you. And <clears throat> the way I like to look at it is, will this new tool, so whatever tool you have now, if I get a new tool, it should do one of two things for me. It should <clears throat> allow me to do, well, one of Sorry. three things really. You right? Yeah. It should you know. allow me to do something I couldn't have done before. And so that would be like upgrading a bandsaw with a six inch resaw to a 13 inch resaw. Great example of that. Uh, a six inch joiner to an eight inch joiner. Et cetera, et cetera. Uh, or uh, number two, it should let me do things faster. So it'll have you know more power, like using going from a bench top saw, uh, a contractor table saw to a cabinet saw. You can cut a lot of wood a lot faster because it's not bogging down, all that kind of stuff. Um, or three, what did I even say? I don't even know. <laughs> oh, no, no. I've been trying to read the comments. Uh, I'm like trying not to squint. It's yeah, yeah. Or no. Uh, basically something you couldn't do faster or better quality. So I get more reliable, more repeatable, better cuts that in the end kind of really goes back to the other one, saves me time because I feel more confident that I can get the cuts that I'm not going to have to recut something because like the setup on my saw drifted and like, you know, it messed things up. Right. So, you know, quality basically. So something you can't do, uh, doing it faster or having better, noticeably better quality. And you know, don't trick yourself into thinking like, oh, but, you know, it's a, it's a saw stuff. It'll make better. Like, are, are you having problems with the current saw or not, or the current whatever? Man, speaking the truth. I'm just saying. So uh, look at it those three ways. And if you have entry level stuff, then I would imagine you're going to fit into at least one of those three. So that would be the way I would look at it. Is like, what is? I think you said. <laughs> What, uh, was like what are the what are the pain points right so right. what are your biggest pain points and upgrade that software so like what's that one tool that you go into your shop and you're just like uh, i do not want to use this thing that's the one i would upgrade first well, let's be real also if it was brad you probably would have a spreadsheet for some former fashion to Two. help decide this and then if it was a big purchase and we do this we just did this recently i forget what for but we always seem to wind up making a pros and cons sheet. I don't know why, yeah. but that is really helpful. And I'm not being silly, like that is really helpful. Um, yeah. Also, you know what? If you have the money for it and you just really yeah. want it, buy, one buy the tool, life is short. Yes, but yes. But be smart fiscally and everything. Yeah, uh, <laughs> Yeah. so I hope that, hope that helps, Daniel. All right, where are we That's at? Right. Yeah, going back down. Uh, what do I think about jet miter saws? Brad Hamilton. Um, the jet miter saw is horribly oversized. Whoa, that was not what I was expecting. No, I mean, it's just, it is. It's just so the big. Miter so, saw. um, oh, oh, I, I'm yes. not working, no, I like, I'm not this. working with Jet anymore. They were a sponsor yeah. of the channel for a few years there, which was awesome. And mm -hmm. I love a lot of my Jet tools, but that one, I, that's why that one never came in my shop because it was so big. You know, it's like, I'm sure it's got a great features and all this stuff. It's just the size. Like, I just can't get past the size. Like, it is from front to back. I want to say it's 36 inches. Whoa. I'm like three feet. What? Like now I may be off, but it's not, not by much. It's like five so feet deep people. We're talking this deep. There's no way. I can't be right. I, I wish I had though. my phone with me. I think I it is. Search it. I think it, cause uh, one of my Somebody buddies, let us know. one of my is buddies has correct? one. I, you won't be able to find it, but really? that's the biggest thing for me is like, it's, it's, it's too big. Now, what happens is that people, I think tool manufacturers have gotten in this game of like, I want to have the most uh, rip capacity. Mm. And if you have this huge rip capacity, plus the rails to go with it, that's just what happens. So it's not that it's like bad. It's just that that's the trade-off. Like if you want this crazy amount of cross-cut capacity, the trade-off is, because you, know, you think about it, like it's got a, 
What's the crosscut capacity on one of those? I mean, it's at least 14 inches. I mean, so you you'd, have you'd automatically it, have to yeah. have 28 inches right there. Well, that's the thing. Like the reason that you never plus, wanted... plus the hand guard and like all that, you know, all that stuff. All the stuff. But the reason you never want anything that big it's, was because you wanted to have a smaller footprint. Yes, that's so why I don't have, have a slider in the first place. So I'm right. the wrong person to ask because I don't want to have any slider. Unless you are like Brad and you want to have a very compact setup, yeah. then don't get it. Yeah. But yeah. if you have but, a huge shop or something, but or that's like it. A big if you don't care about the size, saw, then yeah, check it out. I have no idea. Yeah. Uh, it, it may be. It may be great. Uh, let's see here. Da, da, da. Travis says not too many saw stops. Yeah, I'm like I said, I, I had to wait for two and a half years for mine, Travis, yeah. and a few of them came up in that time, but just wasn't what I wanted. Uh, let's see. Uh, Katie just started working with gel stain, and your mind is blowing. Is it really so easy? Uh, yeah, Katie, gel stain. So the only downside to gel stain, there's two downsides to gel, gel stain, uh, in that I can imagine or think of as far as like when I've used it, I've not used it a ton, but uh, it's more expensive because you use more because it just doesn't go as far. And then it doesn't stain as dark. I mean, that's all part of it though. It's, you can control it more. So, and that goes also into the, you have to use more. So you might have to do two coats to get the same darkness that you would get from actual liquid stain. And it doesn't go as far and it doesn't go as far because you're wiping off all that excess and there's a lot more excess and buildup than like when you're brushing on stain you can kind of see it all there and it, you know, you just, you don't waste as much. Um, that's the biggest downside is just that it takes a little bit more time to use it and it costs more because you have to use more, but it's really nice. <laughs> Somebody let's, let's, have, let's keep a, a, a yawn counter for Susan here. I was um, hoping you were going to just ignore that one. <laughs> take the high road. <laughs> Oh no, Brian Farnth lost out on a house today. Oh, I'm Brian, sorry, Brian. How, like, well, how do you know how much it ended up going for? Like over market, I assume. I mean, it's crazy everywhere. And where are you buying? Like, the only ah. thing that makes me feel better about the housing market here is hearing that we are not the only ones and that this is happening everywhere. I do yeah. think that Nashville is crazier than it's a lot of one places. one of the hottest of markets the worst spots. in the nation right now. Which but I don't understand why so many people are trying to move here then. I would be like, because it's amazing. Never mind. I mean, awesome. go somewhere yeah. else. But yeah, us in Phoenix and Lumber is currently trading Miami at not quite 1400 bucks per 1,000 board foot. What does that mean? Lumber's yeah. currently trading. What are you, are you, are you, are you trading lumber futures, <laughs> Katie? Are we, are we, Sounds like, very, very sophisticated yeah, though. I'm selling pork bellies. <laughs> And moving into lumber, I think I'm going for that. I'm selling pork bellies. Do you ever say stuff that's outlandish just to have a nice title? I do. <laughs> okay. I will admit to that, yes. yes. Sometimes I do. Um, <laughs> I was trading it. What, what is this trade? At March of 2020, lumber was $300 per thousand board foot. That is insane. Uh, will, we have a Facebook page, but not a Facebook group. So the Facebook page is just where we post short form videos. Yeah. Uh, we've been discussing again what to do about that because we do want to play. I, I think we were going talking about Discord. So I'll just throw it out there real quick. Uh, is Discord still a good, the best place? Um, because like we have, you know, we have Patreon and it just, uh, it's not like set up for that. And there's just not much conversation going on over mm -hmm. there. So. My idea would be to have a, a patron only Discord. I mean, I think we're up to, I don't even know, like almost 200 folks in the from the memberships and the um, Patreon. So, you know, there's quite a lot of people and I'm yeah. sure having a place just to go talk and kind of, you know, be a little a safe place so it's not just open to the public because you know pretty much everybody there is. Really good. Yeah, I mean, awesome they're people. awesome people because, you know, they're yeah. <laughs> supporting our channel and they like, what we're doing so they're probably into woodworking and you're not going to get a bunch of trolls i hope i mean you're always just because people are supporting us doesn't mean that they can't be trolls but you know they're so not. discord let us know none of let our people know. are and trolls. i know katie has has offered to oh, to help yes uh, yeah what am i going to say moderate uh, thank you moderate, moderate. Yeah. Um, yeah crafts by cunningham what's up uh why do i oh why do i opt for a non-slider um <laughs> it's um I wish I want to have like a mic on you, just like super close, just like pick up all the noises and yawns you make. Like we, we need like an ASMR mic Listen, on Susan. Back off. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Okay. I wish I had a good comeback, and I don't. No. Uh, two reasons. One, 
size because I do have 20 inch deep cabinets. So that's the biggest one. And I just, I, y'all know me. I'm just like weird like that. I don't like, there's certain things that I don't like. And one of them is like tools that are too big. Which is um, funny because you are definitely going against the grain on that one. I am. I am. And I'm okay with that. I feel like that's a woodworking reference too. Going against, against the, the grain. grain. Yeah. The other thing is, is that a fixed miter saw is inherently more accurate mm -hmm. than a sliding miter saw. And I know a lot of these are like, oh, these are the best, like whatever. But once you get good. out past, yeah, once you start leaving, you know, the docked position, you're always going to have some amount of run out. I don't care what anybody says. You're going to have something there. Like if you get it to the end and you move it like that, it'll wiggle. Now you can overcome that by like always having constant pressure to the left or like whatever. But no matter what, I, in any saw that I've ever seen, that's a slider. If you pull it all the way out and then you just try to move it left and right, it's going to wiggle. I feel, like and I feel like you're about to start a fight or something. Wiggle. I'm like, wiggle, yes. wiggle. <laughs> yeah. All right. So I don't know. I'm just no, that saying things. Yeah. Yes. So that, that, that's why Mr. Cunningham, um, Jonathan Arises, what's up, man? Hey, Welcome back. Ripcord message retracted. Oh no. What are you what? saying? I don't know what I'm saying. My hmm. DeWalt is 42 inches when fully extended. Holy cow. Well, 42. Yeah, wow. that's a lot. That's um, a lot. Life is short and Ripcord bought a 23 gauge Milwaukee. Pin. Ooh, the, the cordless one. I mean, I assume, I don't know if they make pneumatic ones, but that sounds awesome. Uh, didn't I just get a bunch of jet tools or was that not sponsor provided? Uh, Will, I did not necessarily just get a bunch of jet tools. I just um, built a bunch of jet tools. They've actually been in the shop since last year. Yeah. So that was part of the arrangement of last year's um, agreement. Agreement. The arrangement of the agreement. The contract. Yep. And... Um, they didn't deliver until the end of the year. And so, and then it was like, hey, here's some new tools. Uh, by the way, we're going a different direction. Yep. <laughs> it's like a parting gift. Yeah. You know, like, you know, oh, here you go. Could have been worse, it's, I it's, guess. It's been nice. Have some tools. Yeah. Uh, and so, so no. Mm, and uh, yes. you will also notice in the shop tour, for one, I don't mention the name of those tools. Um, and I also don't have any of their badging on them anymore because... You know, that's, that's kind of how it works, right? They, yeah. they went a different direction. So I, I have to kind of react in kind to, or there's no reason for them to ever come back. So right. that's kind of how it goes. You know, it's, it's that, that's like the, the downside of, of being in the business that I'm in, but whatever, it's, it's great. And it was great to work with them when we did, and maybe we will in the future. Uh, I would, I would love to again. Uh, let's see. Oh, uh, and Brian's in Pittsburgh offered 15 K over list. And they mm. said you were close. You're yeah. Close. That, that, that's like horseshoes and hand grenades, man. Yeah. Yeah. You were close. If it makes uh, you Teresa. Feel better, Brian, if it makes you feel better. Up, oh, hey, it's Teresa. It's been a while. No, it has been. Um, there's like a lot of people coming back tonight. I know. I love it. It's great. I love it. Brian, if it makes you feel better. We said this last week, the house down the street, people were offering literally a hundred thousand dollars over list price. They still didn't, didn't get, get it. it. It went Sorry. for like a hundred and what? One hundred and eighteen over. <laughs> and it was not listed low. No, it, <laughs> it was, was listed. It was high. already a pretty high. It wasn't. They could have listed it a little higher, yeah. probably, but it was already a high listing. Yes. So it's in gilded. Okay, insane. now nail bin. I know you told me this last time. Gilded over Discord all day. Gilded. Can do a close oh. group like gilded the Wood Whisper fancy. Kings and Bent have. The cl a closed group is that on um, uh, Will? Who is when you said um, I know those guys, but a closed group? Oh, you're saying a closed group on Facebook? I think is what you're saying. Um, yeah, I, I just I don't like Facebook. Um, <laughs> all right, what do we have? Uh, swap the beer for some caffeine, Susan. Brian says I'm gonna go to bed after this, Brian. You so just, no. Yeah, going to bed. Yeah, I've got things I've got to do uh, first, and then I'm I gotta go fill out applications in there. Yeah, that's true. Make things and do things and clean up the kitchen and the list is long. <laughs> so I know. <laughs> there are things it's been a very busy day. I take we a shower, were, right? Yes, I'm sure you yeah. Sweaty. And I mean sticky. he was outside working. I came in for a little bit to like prep the dinner that we didn't actually wind up eating, but that's all right. And um like engaged with the children a little bit. They were fine. They were like playing with friends. But you were out there all day. You know? I mean, it was all, all afternoon. Day. All afternoon. Into the evening. Yeah, yeah. It it was, I don't know. I was out there from about three to seven. 
but working really hard the whole time. Ish. Yeah. My saw was working really hard. Um, That's true. Power tools <laughs> to the rescue. Jonathan says, you can use Ron Swanson's comeback, which is, I have a permit to do what I want. Ooh, I like it. <laughs> we were watching, no, that's not community. We were uh, watching oh, um, Mark Parks Ray. and... Mark Ray, he's giving the machines overall dimensions. I think that's a lie, Mark. It what? says, oh, oh, 40, oh, no, maybe not. What? Oh, maybe it was four feet and not three feet. It could have been four feet because what it's, uh, Will said his was 42 inches. He says 47 and a half oh inches by 30 by 30 and five eighths. <laughs> That is insane. That is going to be the thumbnail, the picture of you making that face. Oh, my gosh. Like, how could you? I mean, that just like, yeah. I Now that he says that, I'm thinking, because I remember my buddy who has it was like, this thing is ridiculous. Like, he was like, just blown Excited away. Excited or? Oh, no, like, that it's, that's, there's no way. I mean, that's like, I mean, it, it can't be. You better I'm, be looking, I'm looking at my Alfie table, time. which is 48 inches, and if no, that can't be. That can't be right. It's like a miter saw for giants. I don't know. I like don't in know. a giant workshop where everything is bigger. Um, what was I going to yes. say? I don't know. I think you were going to say uh, thanks to Ripcord for oh, the super sticker. So, oh, what does it say? <laughs> <laughs> it's a little cup of coffee. It says tired. <laughs> I don't drink coffee. That's the problem. Yeah, I know. Oh, that's funny. Thank you. I love it. I appreciate I love the it. sentiment. <laughs> it's like, I'm always up. tired, though. Like, she that's is. true. Like, she that's. Is. Oh, M, M to any. And it was the M12 pin nailer. Oh, man. Yeah. Oh, and it's the M12, too. Just a little tiny battery. This probably looks. Are we back to the DeWalt yeah, thing? Yeah, yeah, okay, no, you the, just kind of changed sorry, gears with no Not warning. the DeWalt, but the uh, Milwaukee. Milwaukee. Yeah. Gotcha. Yeah. I'll have to. I'm a tiny have to pin nailer? Oh, I mean, it's cordless. Do they send, sell like mini woodworking tools? Mm -hmm. They'd be adorable. Everything is always cuter when there's it's a dude, mini. Uh, there still is a dude. Mm -hmm. I haven't seen his stuff in a while. His like, name's like Marco Tinzieri or something. I think he's Italian. And he makes these like little, like fit, like little itty bitty like hand planes really? and like chisels. <laughs> I mean, they're purpose. like. To, Just for fun. For it's what always purpose cuter. To do it's always cuter. Yeah, to make it, to make it cute. Uh, <laughs> let's see here. Will just took a deposit on another commission. Ooh, 15th in my cool. short second year woodworking. Dude, fantastic, man. That is awesome. Double trash can holder with some custom storage. I love it, dude. Congrats on that. Uh, let's see. Daniel Espen. What's up? How you doing, man? With all due respect, when are you going to build something and make a video? I like your Whoa. woodworking style. What is that with Dang. all due respect? Um, the way you said it, though, you're like, with all due respect, when are you going to build something and make a video? It sounded a little aggressive uh, the way you read it. I don't know. Um, what I, I, I don't know. I'd love to hear more about what you what expect. Are you, yeah, what are you hoping for? No, because, for? because I, I did, uh, if it's like, hey, are you, when are you going to do more weekly content? So, like, I don't yeah. know. What do we just build? What, what was our last? Was no. the, the wood cart. The wood cart, which was yeah. two weeks ago today. Right. And so, yeah, like, we're, we're not the weekly no. type channel. We are just, building on a team. It ain't us. Like it's we, we aspire to be more. It would be nice. Weekly-ish or bi-weekly-ish consistently, yeah. but honestly, Brad has done like with the. I mean, he, we we have subbed out things here and there, and we had a part-time um, video editor for like almost a year, which was wonderful, yep. and he was great, um, Scott. So he was great. But we have known we needed to build a team for a long, long time. Yes. Um, and so this year we have really kind of spent a lot of time and effort into figuring out how to do that and finding the right people, which is exciting for us because like our, our old editor was wonderful, but we couldn't afford him full time. You know, I mean, he has a nine to five gig already. Yep. Um, so we found Chris, who's been fantastic. Um, and we're very excited about that. And we are, we're like really excited about hiring more people because then that will be able to allow us yeah. to free you up. We just right. need to take to more that, things I, off of Brad's it plate. Because the I, problem is, and I'm going to finish up true, in a second. Sorry. No, the problem is Brad, I'm going to brag on my husband for a second, is very smart and he is very good at figuring out how to do a variety of things. <laughs> no, really. Like, I mean, for my own good. yeah, like, cause it's, it's rare that you're like, yeah, I just can't do this. Like, I don't know if I've ever heard you say that. Like, he just figures things out and does it, which is great when you're like bootstrapping it in the very beginning and like getting everything just out. 
but we're ready to now now like the things that he's been owning for so long we need other people to own yeah. because it's just time consuming so the the yeah and the short answer slash recap is uh is that <laughs> not, not that, that no <laughs> it's, it's just that uh we've spent a lot of this year building the business versus yeah. doing more woodworking projects and um you know we hope that the fruits of that are going to come right and we, you know this has like become like this we are a business we are uh corporation we are fix this bill that llc and an s corporation and we have employees and we have like you know this is like a thing and We're so like there's a lot of people. back end yeah that comes with that so it was yeah. great when i was brad the dude with the instagram account <laughs> and that was fun but now it's not that and so now there's like a lot of stuff that needs to get built out right there's so, lots of like red tape you have to deal with rip cord have a good one man thank you so much for the super Bye, chat hope you, guys, hope you have a great day tomorrow and thank know, you for great, the coffee i appreciate great it great work week um <laughs> All right. Oh, straight out of the manual. Mark Ray says, straight out of the manual. That is that is insane, bro. What? what, what? What's insane? Uh, he's talking about the size of that. Oh, that, gosh. That That's thing. crazy. Yeah. I don't even know. Uh, let's see. Uh, it is, yeah. Then I don't build. No. I, I, could you imagine me trying to build? What are you talking about? I, 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 I was like stuck <laughs> in could a Could you imagine you what? I was stuck in a loop. Me um, building on the live. Gosh. That would be the worst. We've talked about this before. You don't ever I want to see that. I think it would be funny. You don't want to see that. Um. <laughs> I think everybody would expect you to be able to like turn yourself into like high speed Brad, like oh yeah, yeah, like two like and a half speed Instagram. or something. Yeah, because yeah. even I will watch the videos and be like, wow, you're so fast. But I was there, and yeah. I know, and not that not anything against you. It's just like you video work, editing makes everything right. Look like you are a human being, so you have to just like work as a normal human being and yeah. you see it on high speed and like our brains trick us into thinking like oh all these people out here making these things they're so fast just, but no it's just called yeah. they sped up the footage you know yeah, like right. you know whatever that is right what is all right what do we have uh, bah, bah, bah. Oh, here, was uh, larry was asking okay. can't see. Uh, if i have a cnc larry i do have a cnc i've got the invenables uh the x carve if you go to fix forward slash tools. There's a link to the exact one I have there, yep. which is also an affiliate link. Uh, and it's right over there in the corner of the shop. And it's, I've used it a lot more. I used it a lot more this last year. I haven't used it yet in projects this year, but um, I've got plans to do. Probably not. A few, no, I mean, we hadn't done, like, what have we done this year? I, I guess that was, what, what was what that? Is, what's his face? Daniel, Michael, Daniel's, Daniel's letting question, us know. Legit question. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, you haven't done anything really He's cool. Like, what? <laughs> yeah, no. Sorry, uh, and so, uh, well, no, when, when was the, the impossible dovetail cutting board? That was, that was probably the I end of last year. I don't know. Or was that the beginning of this year? I think that was this year. Let's look it up. I'm not sure. We're, we're going to look it up. It real, was real somewhere fast. around that time. It was, yeah. So impossible dovetail cutting board. That was the last time I mm -hmm. used it. I know you didn't ask that, Larry, but, uh, I'm just wondering now. Let's go. Now let's, we have let's to know. Go, I know. Let's go to YouTube. Uh, let's, let's search for, um, oh, that was weird. We're going to do a little search for... Just a little search. Uh, oh, look, this is look, live now. Brad Rodriguez. There live now. What on earth I do is not that? like this picture that you have up there. I look fix like this. I have this no is like fix neck. this build down. <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> All right, we're going to go. Right, this is not exciting for anyone else. No, Sorry. I, we're just, you know, read the comments. I know. Dovetail. You said for me to read the comments? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> With your <laughs> Let me squint. Vision. Uh, Three months ago. No, so that was about... this year. Yeah, we did use it this year. We so did it this year. All yeah, right. There you go. We did that. Boom. All right. Fantastic. Uh, but that's the one I have, and I enjoy it. It's, yes. It works well for we did um, do that. all the stuff that we need at this point. Yep. Build that team. The projects will come. Exactly, James. Exactly. Uh, <clears throat> let's see here. I, you know, uh, Will saying, you know, appreciate the grind. It is. It's like, it is a grind. But this is like, I like to do this because... And this is something that I'm very consistent about. It's yes. about the only thing, quite honestly. <laughs> We're I, very used to be, with I used to be guys. super consistent on Instagram, and then that just kind of kind of went away. Yeah. Um, which is, you know, whatever. I think you get burned out on anything though with social media. I'm sure you all yeah. relate. Like sometimes you just it's need to much. take a little step back, and it's too much. Yeah, for sure. It's all just too much. Yeah. Um, <laughs> That's why we were building out a team. Tundra <laughs> shop tour. Uh, that will be the next video. Yes. It's going it to be great. It should be something. Yeah, it, well, um, hey, honey. I know. Why? I said I didn't say it's going to be. I said it should be. All signs point to it being All Sunday. <laughs> if we read the tea leaves. Right. It no, we have the magic Sunday. eight ball. That's what I was yeah. indicating. <clears throat> uh, yeah, and then we have the decking video <laughs> coming after that. <laughs> what? Katie said, "I know you said S corporation, but I heard. I totally heard escort corporation." <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> 
No. Fix this bill that escorts. No. 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 Escort service. That's a big uh, no, negative. You, you, you don't want the fix this bill that escort. They like come in all sawdusty. <laughs> They're gonna like show you how to. They'll tell you all the things you have wrong yeah. in your house. You, and you think they're gonna. You need to fix it. Working with wood, and they're like, "No, we're talking about something totally different." <laughs> I'm, I'm talking two by fours here. Wouldn't that be <laughs> awesome though? They're like, "Oh no, 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 just sit down. Like, no, I'm no, just no, gonna no, tell no. you like all we're, the things you yeah. need to fix in here." <clears throat> yeah, that's funny. I, know, I heard you wanted to talk about hardwood, but oh well, my we've gosh, got walnut Brad. and maple here. I don't. Yeah. No. But what were we doing recently? That um, what were we doing? With the kids where they were talking about I'm, I'm like, wood species. You don't even know how much I'm holding back right now. What? Just. <laughs> <laughs> I'm no. just holding back so, so much. Uh, we were playing that game with the kids where they're like, they like throw oh, out yeah, a yeah, subject. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And then you have to like. Oh, it was like the. Oh, yeah, it was the. the they thing. do this it's little like hand motion. Category is. Yes. There was types like, of wood. Right. And then yeah. they're like, and then you have to be like on the beat saying yours in your turn to not lose did they do types of I feel wood like, i feel like we should do it i feel like we should play again. all right let's do it but did they, they did types of wood and the they thing? were like putting out like let's wood species and right, they're so proud how do we do this like that no, i don't know how they like, do it what do they say it's like category is types of wood walnut cherry maple willow Butternut. That was late. Elm. Butternut. Cedar. Um, sage. Champion. Sage. <laughs> you freaked me out. Your eyes were like this. It was like. <laughs> I should have just looked around. I was saying it was obscure. What is butternut? Whoa. Butternut, butternut is a type of wine. It's like a wine a brand. No, butternut's it's not. You it threw me off of the butternut. I know. All right, this is that's a new segment. That is a new Ooh, segment. That got me awake. I'm like my <laughs> blood is pumping now. <laughs> that is a new. I am too. I'm like hot on this. I know. Right? <laughs> <laughs> All this right. So we need to do. All uh, right. Ne next week we'll take comments from you guys for the topic and this will be the uh yeah oh geez we'll, uh, please pick things i know <laughs> like <laughs> chocolate and um what else do i know <laughs> i like that just chocolate i like that yes <laughs> oh my word yeah all right I, I mean those were all mine were mine were all legit we're, butternut i did not know what I, I i was just thinking all i could see was the wine that's like butternut <laughs> Because your mom and I got it one time and we didn't like it. That's all I'm thinking yeah, about. No, butternut but like, is uh, sage. What it's is actually butternut? Sage. Yeah, sage. Sage is not whatever. wood. No, it's no. It's, it's spice. It's, it's yeah. Okay. There might I don't know. Is there a sage tree? Let's search. Yeah, sage that'd be tree. great. That would be cherry. Did sage we say wood. cherry? You know what? There might. I think we said it cherry. Might be. What? No, I think it's a wood stain. Oh. Sephora. Sage wood. <laughs> <This is laughs> Sephora. What is the wood that is sage a wood? Is sage a wood? Get out of here. Is it a hardwood? Is an herb. Wood sage Dang it. is an herb. Dang it. Okay. I almost had to like retract. <laughs> it's good for the digestive <laughs> tract, folks. We've learned so much tonight. This is fantastic. Oh, okay. Geez. All right. Uh, anyway. uh, Teresa, have a good one. Mistakes. Bye, made. Teresa. Would be She's over like, this place has gotten weird since I've been here last. I know. I know. I know. Uh, <laughs> Uh, yeah, oh we all did a for, forgivable PPP loan for 20k. Oh yeah, we didn't do the the loans and all that, but um, I don't think we would have qualified at that. No, point. Yeah, we didn't have. Yeah, because I don't know, it's just the way and the way that we it don't worked. Have like because a, we didn't have the because we didn't we weren't out of work. Right, we didn't we don't have a storefront. We don't right. have employees and we like that, and right. so we. Didn't I know some feel... people like couldn't work because right. they were shut down. Right. Yeah, but we were. Or they weren't. What was it? They're, we're already. They're not a, um, I don't know. What's the term? Oh gosh, frontline worker or something. Yeah, like I know, that. but it's like a. Uh, uh, I don't know. That government. I don't know, but I wouldn't have like felt required, good not even required worker. applying for one because we did a yeah. we were doing okay. Like I would have rather that money go to you know like a mom and pop business that was like struggling to stay afloat or something. All right, <laughs> what? We'll, we'll say Chuck and Ken, Chuck and Sandy making a cameo. <laughs> <laughs> Oh no! The next week's uh, topic is going to oh, be so record, He jumped back on. He says, "When's the trucker hat coming?" Oh, I, dude, I, I need to. I need to put you in. You gotta a, figure that out. I know. I know. I know. 
Yeah. No, we need to like we need to have your dad figure that kind of stuff out. You know. That's true. Yeah. That's true. He's probably watching. He's like, what mm. are they talking about? <laughs> mm. You have a job coming. Wallen um, says. Sugar hat. <laughs> Katie says, Susan, sage. <laughs> <laughs> I blinked. <laughs> sage is not a tree. Yeah, everybody's everybody's back. I know. Me up. I'm yeah. fully aware that Ooh, sage is not a of, tree. Types of nails. That's a good one. Types of nails. No, like uh, y'all, listen, listen. No, no. I need to line in the sand, people. I am not a wood worker. You cannot be asking me like. Okay, that's fine. Types what? of like spat yeah. screws or something. I would have no I know, idea. But you don't have to be. Like we could pick anybody off the street and they like, if it wasn't under pressure. Wood varieties, should, sure. Yeah, well, that's what yeah. I'm saying. Five, I think anybody could name five wood varieties. Not, maybe not anybody, but most people. Probably. Like yeah. if they were not types like. Types of screws? Under pressure. Yeah, types of, like, okay, How many fine. types of, let me just think of how many types of screws I can name. Deck screws. <laughs> um, okay, I'll give it to you. Yeah. Deck screws. Um, deck screws is like. What, is that not a thing? It is a thing. It's a thing. Um, deck screws. I was thinking um, something different. I was thinking pocket the... Pocket hole screws. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Okay. Is that a thing? Yeah. Um, masonry screws. Masonry screws, yeah. Masonry screws. Masonry. Masonry screws. Yeah. Is that different than concrete screws? No. Okay. Same Dang thing. it. That's all I got. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. I was going to go with the, uh, the drive system. What? The so drive you've got like system. Phillips head, slot head. Oh. Square Drive, Robertson. Robertson? What Posse the heck is drive. Robertson? Are they just naming them after a bunch of families yeah, or like, something? It's like Canadian. Oh, I've um, never heard of Robertson. It's the same thing as Square Drive, except not. It's like one of them has a Is a Square Drive the thing it. that looks like an X, hole. but it's actually like got a square in the middle? What is that? The, that's, like the big fat that's X Posse square drive. ones? That's, that's what? Posse Drive. It's got... Posse it's, Drive? It's Phillips and that, Square. Oh, oh, so it's like both? Yeah. Oh, it I didn't is. know that. Is, I've learned you. things tonight. Now you know. Tell uh, you. Oh, essential workers. Thank you, Larry. Essential yeah, essential workers. workers. That's what we're looking for. Yeah. Thank you, Katie. Cheese board beer holder. Where? where Mark Handy. Cheese board beer holder. That's bear sounds, holder. Bear, oh, I like, I no, like beer. It holder. is beer holder now. Cheese board beer holder. I mean, yeah. Bear. But sorry, bear holder. I don't know. Cheese board bear <laughs> Lori, holder. Lori said, "There's nothing more beautiful either. than a piece of solid sage furniture." <laughs> 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 I don't know why I said sage. I, lo I loved it. I, loved I know it. you loved it because you I won. <laughs> Will said next week we should. I, I don't think Susan, Susan would, wouldn't actually do well at this. What? Because the types of purses or shoes. No, I'm not Susan really. Susan is very low on the shoe scale. If it was like. That's actually type... not true. You've been crushing some shoes lately. What shoes have I been crushing? Those yeah. all birds. Okay. I got one pair of shoes in the last year. Tom's. Capri's. I bought those like three years ago. Jimmy Choo's. Jimmy Choo's, <laughs> he's just making stuff up. That's not, no, they're not making it, it up, that's like an actual thing. If it was like types of exercises, like oh, exercise yeah. moves, we'd she's, both be good at that. But I would be good at that. that. I would also be good at, I don't know, <laughs> book, book titles, Gun book Gun titles. said uh, the concentration on Susan's face, naming <laughs> the screws should be the thumbnail. <laughs> right, I'm going to, I will look really that up. I trying to think of some. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like this whole episode has been, let's laugh at Susan. <laughs> but I'm not yawning anymore, so that's an improvement. Yes, we're laughing. The blood is pumping. We're laughing with you. Exactly. Yes. It's all right. I'm know. good with it's it. It's all good. Or varieties of ice cream. Jeff. I would dominate at varieties of ice cream. No doubt. Do we have You could just make up I, stuff. I don't even know why. I can't believe I just asked that. Do you have that. some ice cream? We do have ice cream. Oh my though. gosh, I'm about to pop. I know. We have cookies too. Oh, okay. mm. hush, we are not eating hush, this. I know, it, it just makes no. me want to throw up thinking about it. I know. Um, <laughs> mm. All electrical terminals and plugs and switches are posi drive. Oh, cool. Oh. oh, see, that's probably where I've seen those then. Because I've seen those before and I'm like, what are these What are these things here? I don't know. We had a big dip in viewership. I wonder if that was during the, uh, <laughs> the game. Know. <laughs> oh, you know what else would be really good? Spells from Harry Potter. <laughs> Ooh, Expect be. a Patronum. <laughs> that would be a good one. Um, Al Aloha You don't have to do that, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Whatever, I'm on a roll. It's going to like Accio. I, I, no, it's, how do you say it? I just said it. That's not how you say it. That's Accio? How I it. Yeah. It's not how they say it with their British accents. Whatever, yeah. this is so not, not on topic. All good. All anyway, right. Anyway, going on. Moving yes. on. Jeez. <laughs> oh, there's a whole conversation about the sage, different types of sage products. 
Uh, <laughs> Sage Scripps. Was I just saw Sage Scripps. Wait, I, the U.S. was Phillips, Canadian was the square drive. Yeah, that's uh, Larry. That's what if I said that wrong. That's what I meant. Uh, Robertson is Canadian, and that is a type of square drive. But I just read it like re very recently that Robertson and square drive are actually slightly different because one of them has a taper. Where do you and read one these things? Doesn't. I have no idea where I read that. Where would I have read You've that? You've just seen like. I've said this before. If anyone ever listened to Car Talk back when it used to be, like, I think oh, it's still man, on or not. so good. But um, we loved Car Talk back in the day. We click used to listen clack. to it. Click and clack. The tap but they brothers. just knew everything about cars. And people would call in with the most obscure brand. Oh, car, that was, that was I more. And we, we got you a did question call. Answer, yeah. I know that was good. I mean, but that was, I would say they are, they were in a league of their own because they're talking about, like, pretty much any kind of car you could call in about and they could just tell you things about it and like like in depth like behind the scenes information but you're kind of like that with woodworking i feel like is maybe it's just because you're like the only woodworker i know a lot of but like i mean yes, like you I just like answer of. things i'm like how do you know these things but i don't know it's impressive to me which is good that's right keep your wife impressed that's right uh <laughs> what ooh, what harry potter house is brad and susan a part oh. of Oh, I am definitely, I don't know. If I was being honest with you, I'd probably be a Hufflepuff. Yeah, sure. Because would, yeah. I am very loyal and, like, kind. And I'm, so, I'm so modest. I'm very loyal and kind. <laughs> I have, Katie. I do. <laughs> I do. <laughs> I do have a Gryffindor shirt, Katie. In case you you're wondering. Who Susan bought, that bought it for you. <laughs> no. no. What would you be? <laughs> what would you be? Gryffindor. I just told her. <laughs> but but would you really? Yes. Like if you really thought about it. Yes. Are you sure you're yeah. not a little bit Slytherin? Oh hush your I'm mouth. I'm just kidding. <laughs> well, no, I think I. Just, I think I'm not. I think I'm not competitive enough to be a Gryffindor. Is what I was trying to get what's at. What's the, uh, um, the the like oh, scientist yeah, people? The, Oh shoot! What is that one? Ravenclaw? Yes. Ravenclaw. Yeah, you might be Ravenclaw. I, I could be. But, but I when I took the test, doing... I was I was Gryffindor. What test did you do? We took. We, we all did the little test. On it's what? like there's like an online Harry Potter thing. Oh, you're like, okay. What house were we, we all doing? Gryffindor? I don't know. I, this was. I don't remember this, but. Oh the, yeah. Oh Tyrone, I would kill that one. He said, "Ask Brad the dates of birthdays." In, oh, in your family? No, I wouldn't. <laughs> I know your sisters. You do? Well, she's. Yeah. Oh, I think you meant both of them. April 17th right. for Jill. Because it's like three days after mine. Because it's three days after her. It's easy. I, no, or like I couldn't even tell you the month of... Elizabeth is May 7th. Yeah. I yeah. Told you that. Not May 7th, March 7th. <laughs> oh, she doesn't know My brain was thinking March, my mouth That's said right. May. Yeah, I don't uh, know. I'm not right. great with that. Wallen's trying to get us back on track. He says, circle back to the <laughs> Wallen's deck. Wallen's like, listen Are those up. fence boards going up as uh, is? Or would I recommend planing reclaimed lumbar? Um... Well, first of all, obviously, make sure there's no fasteners in it. That's going to be the biggest thing. You don't want to destroy your planer blades. Um, with fence boards, the problem with fence boards is they're thin already, right? They're, they're like a 5 8 um, if you're lucky. And so I'm not going to plane them. I'm actually going to sand them. And also, the other thing is, is that they're not just, you know, they're fence boards. So they're kind of like, they can be wavy. Um, and so to really plane them and get them good, I, I would like probably have to take them down like a half inch easy. And that would, you know, I don't want to lose that much. So I'm actually just going to sand them just to get, just so that they will get, uh, so that it'll take the stain better. And because they're also rough, because it's uh, deck board, fence boards are typically rough on one side. And it seemed like they used the outside instead of that. Well, I guess the re, because it was, it's like one of those things where the, you know, it always is different where they put the support members and our neighbors had the support members facing them. Mm -hmm. And so I wonder if they had the good side also facing them. Maybe. And the rough side was facing us. But, yeah. But I don't, you know, I'm not going to use the inside because it's got the big stain gaps where, you know, they stained it after it was on. So, like, there's going to be a middle part that would look totally it is wonky. A bit of so I'll be using the outside. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah, for sure. Again, this is using this new. Uh, yeah, I will. I use the Power Pro too. Those are, those are nice. Mm -hmm. Those are not, those are not bad. Um, oh, Katie says she's in Slytherin. 
Whoa. Katie? Katie. Oh my goodness. I would not have expected that. All these people, they're like Slith Slytherin. I'm so Slytherin. What? <laughs> the show is going off the rails. Larry's like, this is out of control. <laughs> uh, I know. Dude, yeah, Tom Tom did pass away in 2014. Um, what? Dave, Dave said that from Car Talk. I know. Yeah. We Which really was sad. Yeah. Like I remember, I remember when they I announced want to say that they weren't doing the had, show anymore. Did he also have Alzheimer? Alzheimer's. He had before that. Or he had something. He had something. I, I listened to an interview by um, his brother. I can't think of Ray. His name. I think Ray. Is, yeah. yeah. And it was so sad. Like because Tom, like they're both very intelligent people. Yeah, I think they both graduated from MIT. I think they? so. Yeah, they're from Boston, as you can tell from their accents. But I think they both went to MIT. I'm gonna go MIT. listen to some some of those. I know, so good. But yeah, they uh, they're whole, I mean, they just crack me. They up. They were so funny. They just sit and just. They laugh just the seemed like they time. were having a good time. Like I think when mm -hmm. you listen to people that are genuinely happy to be there and having a good time, it is so enjoyable. And they and like I'm not a car that's person. Why, that's why they're here. That's right, so especially tonight, because we're having a great time. But yeah, no, I mean, but they, I'm not like a huge car person, but I loved listening to that show because it was just fun, you know, I mean, they made it fun. But um, yeah, Ray talked about it, like it was really hard for Tom, I think, because he started to kind of lose his right. memory and, Ugh. and that was just really hard. That was just a hard process All for right. him. I know. Let's bring this back up. We're, we're, we're bringing it down. Much respect to, to those guys, though. But yes. <laughs> they did a good thing. Uh, I know, but now I'm going to go list, just to, to but memorialize them. I'm, I'm going to listen to some car talk this week. Yeah, for uh, sure. Rob's Custom Wood Shop. What's up, man? He says, battery hey. died. So we finally got to come in and watch it live. How many, batter how many right. camera batteries do I go through oh on gosh. a session of filming? T Hub, what's up? That's a up, great, by the way? hey, Taylor. This is, that's a great question. Uh, so I'll tell you for what. For today. <laughs> it, I, oh, yeah. So I went through three today. Was it three? Well, I was on my third. Okay. So I went through two. Oh my gosh. Um, Tell them about but, the batteries at the end. The oh power. gosh, <laughs> they were. I went through and I went through. <laughs> I went through um, three Dewalt batteries for my reciprocating saw as well. It got to work out. It did. Um, but hey, shout out to Rigid. I only went through one battery on the on oh. the circular saw. I, yep. I thought I was using the recip saw way more. But anyway, yeah. Um, yeah, I I typically. I typically go through just like one, but I've been using these these batteries. So I have a lot of accessories for my camera gear, and I've got this one battery that is it's actually on the top here. I'll pull it off because it's not running anything. Mm -hmm. It is this crazy huge battery, and it is awesome. That is a really awesome one. So <laughs> this is like the beast mode. Uh, so this is the Sony. I think they call it the NPF. Uh, is this one battery. NW. It is NW F. And this is the nine. So okay, yes, it's an NPF nine seventy. Um, is the is the Sony model? And then I think they have like nine seventy. Uh, they've got like the five hundred series and a seven hundred, whatever. But this is like the big daddy, and this thing lasts forever. So it's awesome. This has got um, sixty six hundred milliamps, which is a lot of juice, forty eight watts. So these things last like the whole day. These are awesome. So you know you can't. Just plug this into any camera, but it works great for lights and for I've got a, a seven inch monitor on the top, which has been amazing. It's so nice to be able it to really nice. zoom in, especially oh Susan. Gosh. Her eyes, eyes are so bad. <laughs> it helps her <laughs> it zoom helps in. Me out a lot. But these things are fantastic. It's nice. Well, it's nice when you're recording too, because we'll turn it around. So when Brad's yeah. recording, he can. Did you say that? I'm sorry. No. I, was, I was listening, but not really. <laughs> so, <laughs> I mean, I was, but it's like I could have missed it. But like he, he can, he can see. I don't know. It just helps. It helps when you can. See, it sounds weird, but it helps when you can see yourself when you're recording. Sometimes. Yes. Yes. So. Yeah. It does. Mark, you, you, hmm. you've got to bring us back with questions, man. We just we yeah. go we go like, where the questions take us. We will just kind of go. So yeah. Especially right now. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, oh, a French cleat. On, oh, dude, Will, that's a fantastic idea. What was the book question? What, he does a French cleat on his deck see. on the underside for easy access what? under storage. I'm what? assuming, like when I, when he said that, my mind went to. Having a French cleat that you would just have the whole piece just be removed with what? a French cleat. That's fantastic. That is That's a, a really idea. good idea. Um, That's very timely. Wouldn't really work for what we're doing right. necessarily because we want the kids to be able to. Can you see? Can you imagine oh Macy? Oh gosh. Like, ah, no. <laughs> pull this huge our, thing. Our oldest is 12 idea. and a half. It looks like a little man child. Yeah, 100%. I can see him he's do that. He's, it's ridiculous. He's getting big. He is. He's getting big. Uh, but yeah, no, that's that's a really good idea. Um, it's very oh, efficient. Phil Stanfield, what's up, man? Hey. <laughs> he's like, I forgot. 
completely forgot about the, sh the show. Installing your island. I hope it, that went well, dude. Wow, sounds that like a well. big job. Um, <laughs> which ocean? <laughs> what? James says, in which ocean? He's installing an island. I like that, James. That's, yes. that's solid. That would be, Brad would have probably told yeah. that joke and I probably yeah. would have laughed. And uh, then... A good starter camera, Will. Oh. That's an interesting. So here's my, my easy answer to that is it's, you may be looking at it right now, or it might be in your pocket. Uh, it's your cell phone. You have, you know, any modern cell phone, most modern cell phones, especially if you have an iPhone or, you know, iPhones and, and, and galaxies are the, the two big ones. And so both of those have great cameras mm -hmm. and they will shoot 1080p. The newer ones will shoot 4K. And so you can use those, but if you do want a camera, the, uh, and I don't know if they've actually brought out the M60 yet, but the Canon M50 is a great starter camera. And look at that one. Like I said, I, I know there's a newer model potentially coming out, but uh, they have like the M50 Mark II or whatever their, their iteration of it is. But that one's low budget. Um, also like the Canon T-Series, so like the T7i, I think is, is T5i. I had the, at the Rebel, like way, the Rebel XTI way back in the day. And then I had the Canon 70D, mm. which is also a good one, but now they're up to like 90D. You just um, keep improving. Yep. And uh, and now I run the Panasonic GH5S. So, yes. and it, it shoots very nicely. Phil, what is up? Uh, should I anchor a kitchen island to the floor? And thank you so much for the super Thanks, chat. Phil. Um, yes, anchor yes, I would. The, um, w the way I've traditionally seen that done is that you would use two by fours to screw down to the floor and then screw the cabinets on, put the cabinet, you know, make it so that it fits in the recess, so if you have a, a toe kick, um, if you don't have a toe kick, then you would build it on top of a base. But if you have a toe kick and you have some hollow space under the cabinets, then you would put the two by fours down so that uh, the outside of the cabinet would go just outside of it and then screw into the side. And then you'll Smart. cover that up with base molding around it. Um, because, you know, especially like with drawers, right? Like you're, mm. you're opening and closing drawers, you definitely need to have that. Um, have that solidified down to the floor, secured, attached. I, I would not let that float. Um, even if you're thinking like, ah, you know, it's got granite on top or whatever. It's just too much action with the doors and drawers. Well, once you get the granite on, if it does have a little bit of action, it'd be a whole lot harder. Like to to, move. To it will. I mean, it anything. probably wouldn't, right? But uh, like, to fix it, it probably wouldn't move. Back no, I'm saying it probably. Oh, yeah, if yeah, you yeah. did have that piece of granite on there, it probably right. wouldn't move with all right, the weight. Pretty heavy. I mean, but like if someone runs into it, you know, like if you have kids. If you have kids, all bets are off. <laughs> all bets are off. I mean, screw it down, put chains right. around it, do whatever you got to do. Uh, but yeah, that, that's that's what I would do. Um, let's see here. Cool. Taylor uh, is asking, do I have a 23 gauge pin nailer? I uh, actually do. We were just talking about it, Taylor. I forgot who bought it. But if you scroll up in the chat, somebody bought the 23 gauge pin nailer and they said, well, they didn't say they loved it. They just said they treated themselves. And it does look pretty awesome. I do have a 23 gauge pin nailer. It's a rigid uh, pneumatic and it's awesome. Like 23 gauge pin nailers are the bee's knees. Um, Katie, oh, she's, yeah, she's gonna miss us next week oh. thank you so much for the super chat katie, katie you're so sweet we will miss you too happy um, birthday have a great a, birthday a nice shining light in the chat yes unless you're sassing us about <laughs> even then it's usually food. kind of sweet and she's, like, <laughs> and, uh, she's like no what, what was the thing oh I think it was like marshmallows. Like she was chastising us for like eating commercial marshmallows. I thought she was joking marshmallows. about marshmallows in the beginning. Remember, oh, no. and then I was like, oh, she I makes them. Like and then you sent them to us, and we never got them. I, like, I know, crazy, crazy uh, times. Jonathan, a hundred percent. The best camera is the one you have. That is, yep. so true. And they've come so far. Like when I look um, at the pictures that my cell, my my first cell, like smartphone, took when the kids were little. Whenever oh, so Google Time Hop or whatever it is will show me pictures from like eight years ago. They're horrible, and I really, I wish yeah. I had been able to have a better camera at that time because they're always yeah. blurry. I mean, it's kind of like just what it kind of adds to it a little bit. Like, oh, they were little, and I had a crappy <laughs> camera. <laughs> but but yes. now, like, they're, but everything they're is so, so good now. Good. You can use just so about just you'd be about in a whole everything. different spot. Uh, Mark, I did do a river table at one point. Uh, yep, it's been quite a few years now. Yes. It was 2018 or 2019. I think it was 2018. Probably 2018. I did uh, yeah. an epoxy waterfall 
side table type yep. dealio. And that's the only one I ever did. I, I did actually plan on doing some other ones, but like at that point, I was ahead of the curve when I did it. And then like, it just got so oversaturated so fast. I was like, all right. When um, I remember you, you I could kind of see that coming. You were like, I want to do one, but I don't want to And that's wait. why I did the, the, right. Because they were already, yes, they were, they were you already getting. You want to be like everybody else. And so I know. made the Waterfall Edge, which was one of the first Brad's ones that I'd gonna seen. Brad's always going to be different. Yeah. At least on YouTube. Oh and yeah. And then after that, I was like, all right, I think I'm done. And here. it turned out really beautiful. <laughs> that was a stressful one though. Oh my gosh. Remember yeah. when we did the pour? Because you don't know how it's going to turn out. And yeah. there was a lot of prep but it turned work. Out great. But it was great. Yeah, it was great. But it turned out great. Yeah. All right. Well, we... It's sorry time. about that. I'm just like clapping right in front of the mic. Right? Um, Is this thing Yeah. Going? We're, yes. we're going to get, we're gonna get ripping. So, yep. um, Katie, have a great birthday next week. That's right. And thank you guys for coming out and hanging out with us. And, uh, yeah, we will uh, we'll, we'll do whatever oh next week. Do some sage. Maybe we should do spices. Spices. <laughs> I would be really good at that, actually. Butternut. <laughs> That's not a spice. <laughs> maybe Nutmeg, next week. Nutmeg, yes. Maybe next week. I, I feel like I we know. should have a, uh, maybe maybe I'll make a thing for it on the stream oh deck. And we could pull it up and it would be like, it would be like some like happy music I or something. I feel like the going. kids would really think it's hysterical that we are doing that on the live. They would. They would love it. Yes, so, they yeah. would. All right, guys. Have a great week. And and yes, uh, there, there should be a new video up by the next time that we meet next Sunday. But so be on the lookout for that. Jinx it. But if you don't see it, don't be surprised. Yeah. Um, <laughs> shop tour coming at you. So, guys, have a great week. Get out there. Build something awesome. And we will catch you guys next Sunday. See ya. Bye.